2023 World Championships in Budapest, capturing the bronze medal in the decathlon in that event. And Lyndon is joining me now. Uh, Lyndon, you have Karifta experience. What was that like for you as a young athlete coming up through the ranks? First off, thank you for having me. Thank you, Sportsmax, for, uh, for being here. I know that I know that the Grenadian public, you know, they uh, they they're enjoying the, the coverage. So yeah. so thank you for being here. Um, yeah, um, my craft experience. Well, it wasn't always the best. You know, my first couple of years, I, di I didn't I didn't do very good. But you know, I stuck to it and I stuck to my training and I trusted my coaches at the time. And um, my last year on the 20, I won the um, the heptathlon. So I think my story is a story of perseverance. And you know, not if you don't win a medal your first craft or your second craft, but you know, it, it might be your last craft where you actually strike gold and and propel you to to be an Olympian and 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 other things like that. Yeah, just to, for our viewers to understand exactly how much of a task on the body is it to complete 10 events at such a high level? Well, I I always see this. Um, I feel like 10 different men beat me up when I'm done, <laughs> when I'm done with the decathlon. Like it, Anderson says when he's done with the javelin or so he is. So I tell him, like, at 10 times of the slowness <laughs> when it comes to the decathlon. I mean, like, but... The decathlon doesn't even challenge you physically. It also challenges you mentally as well. You know, when an event doesn't go good, how do you how do you bounce back from that? Right. Or when an event goes really really well, you still have to stay level headed because you got you probably got nine more events to go. So I think the decathlon is a beast that not only challenges you physically but also mentally, yeah? and that that's the beauty of, of of the sport. Yeah, you you were given a chance to take in some of the octathlon. Uh, events this evening. How impressed were you with the boys' performance? Oh, I mean, the future of the decathlon in the Caribbean is bright. So the guys are competing really, really well. Um, way better than, than when I was competing at that age. And I, I was really impressed with some of the maturity of the athletes. You know, they look like they've been there. The decathlon is something that, that it takes years to master and to get a groove for and get a feel for. But some of the athletes, they actually look like, you know, they... I see them eating between events and I see the way that they're carrying out themselves between events and that's, that shows a lot of maturity, especially for such young athletes. And I think um, the Caribbean is a place where we don't really focus on the multi-events, but I think that we, it's a niche that we can really dominate because I know for Grenada in particular, um, a lot of the athletes, they do a lot of events to help their school win points. Yeah. And it becomes so natural doing five events and six events that I think we can really show our dominance in, in the multi-events, not just the, the decathlon, but also the heptathlon because we, we, we already do so much events like Kirani knows how to throw the javelin, like right. Anderson is a fast sprinter. So yeah. I think we, Grenada in particular, we really breed multi-events. Yeah, and I can't let you go without asking you if you will be in Paris for the Olympics this year? Yeah, I mean, I already have the standard and um, coming off the World Championship bronze, I think there's uh, there's expectations now going into going into the Olympics, but um, training has been going good and, and I'm, I'm excited for, um, it, it's my third Olympics, so I'm hoping that the third time is the charm, you know, and I can bring home a medal for my country and for the Caribbean. Yeah, we'll be rooting you on. Thank you so much for joining us, Lena. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's Lena Victor there. And let's head back upstairs now to our commentary team.